I think um, this might be might be helpful for um, Mariah, perhaps, but um, you know there are some different levels of programming that might be appropriate for for her son. I'm happy to to talk to her too um, offline. Yeah, I think I might ask for you if you could share this um, and Chantel, if you'd like this too, just to share your slides with me so that I can send totally. it over to her. Totally, totally, absolutely. Um, and then again, um, for Mariah, just this distinction between an IEP and a 504 might be helpful. Um, so more kind of big picture, a 504 is really providing accommodations for that child within the classroom. And an, an IEP, the real distinction there is, is an IEP is saying that the child might not be able to access general education programming because of X, Y, or Z, whether that's, you know, uh, um, you know, diabetes or whether that's autism. Um, and an IEP is put in place if there really needs to be changes or modifications to that child's programming. Um, so this might not be as helpful. Um, so, you know, there are different levels of programming. Again, when we think about public school education, there's different kind of models and th those are based on both the kind of, you know, clinical impressions, but also kind of educational theory about how, how students learn. Um, the larger take home is that, you know, students ideally would be educated in their least restrictive environment. So, you know, even though a child might have autism, it doesn't mean that they automatically go to a specialized autism school. Um, they might actually really benefit from this more inclusion model. So being able to be exposed to typical peers, things like that. And that would be similar to for, um, for Mariah, for her child with, with um, ADHD. So supplemental services that might be helpful, again, you know, social skills groups, um, in-home behavioral services, outpatient speech, outpatient OT, physical therapy, and then um, outpatient therapy like CPT. So I'll skip ahead a little bit. Chantel, I don't know if um, if you wanna guide the conversation further in, in a little bit of a different direction. I was gonna hit a little bit on like a to-do list too for ADHD and then anxiety, but I'm happy to transition if you wanna talk about something else or something, if you want to kind of spend more time elaborating on something that we've talked about so far. No, I'm happy to follow what you've got going on here, yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so we've already talked about this quite a bit, but children with, with autism um, often have pretty significant complications that extend well beyond autism. Um,